Hello everyone, Ross of Aquarimax Pets here with two of my favorite isopods in the genus Armadillidium. The one up near the top of the screen is Armadillidium maculatum, the zebra pill bug, and the one near the bottom is Armadillidium gestroi, also known as the yellow spotted isopod, although this specimen is of the zinger's morph, which does not have any yellow pigment at all, at all as you can see. Their coloration of, for these two is very similar, but as you can see, their patterns are very different. I wanted to compare them not only in terms of their patterns, but in some other characteristics of these two species. One thing you can see is that the zebra, of course, has these stripes. There are spotted versions of these, but this is one from the exopods line, which tends to have very nice, clean stripes. An excellent quality specimen if what you're looking for is the zebra-like stripes from which this species gets its common name. The gestroy has more irregular wedge-shaped spotting, and as you can see, they are organized into rows along its body. It's got four rows of these spots along its body, but they, they're kind of irregular, and the rows are a little bit irregular as well, but a very gorgeous isopod. I love the effect. And then the skirt around this ice pod, unlike in the zebra where there's not much of a skirt, is a little more apparent in terms of a kind of a different lighter shade. Some specimens have even lighter uh, shading than this. Zebras, as you can see, tend to be a little smaller. I've seen some pretty big zebras, bigger than this one, perhaps even to rival this gestroy. But in general, zebra pill bugs seem to have a smaller average body size, and their width in proportion to their length is a little bit narrower in most cases than the gestroy, which are built like little tanks. Both pretty easy to keep. They both like some ventilation. They both like a moisture gradient. Um, I would say that zebra pill bugs are a bit more tolerant of dryness, although you don't want to ever let their entire closure dry out. Uh, gestroy tend to prefer more moisture. Uh, they both like a lot of leaf litter. Both will take supplemental foods. Zebras tend to be more prolific uh, breeding typically, but gestroy have very large broods when they do give birth. So if you have gestroy tend to wait until they are older, a larger size before they will reproduce, but once they do, they will produce a lot of offspring. So it's not difficult to breed them at all either. It's just with the zebras, they tend to reproduce at a younger um, size and then perhaps have uh, offspring a bit more frequently. Both excellent isopods, both highly recommended for beginner keepers, and I hope you try them both out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching today. I post videos on Fridays with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.